If any genre of game has seen a resurgence thanks to VR gaming, wave shooters are it. And so comes Guns and Stories Bulletproof VR for PSVR to add to the ever growing list. But does Guns and Stories do enough to set itself apart from the rest of the pack? Let's find out. Granddad, could revolvers really shoot like this? No, revolvers couldn't. But these two 45 caliber babies sure could. Before receiving this review copy of Guns and Stories, I had seen it on the PSN store and I had wondered about its strange title. But after playing the game and completing its campaign, I realised it actually fits the game perfectly, as the story that this game tells is surprisingly the thing that really elevates it beyond its competitors. I didn't expect much of a story with a wave shooting game, but the story of the gunslinger Bill and his quest to save the girl of his dreams from a group of bad dudes in a western setting has enough charm to keep me pushing through the game's stages. You see, the story is set as an older Bill recounting the tale to his curious grandson while he drinks more and more whiskey. The developers, Myro Win VR, do a great job of utilizing the unreliable narrator trope, as Grandpa Bill clearly exaggerates his accomplishments and changes his story on the fly, having a very real effect on the gameplay as the world alters to match his tale. The fort was huge. Uh, as huge as a... You are lying. Huge as a shopping mall. To which we will go tomorrow to eat ice cream. He even adds in a few anachronisms like robotic drones and stuff like that. There's a real charm to this tale in both its humour, its puns, multiple references and how it's presented. And what happened then, Grandpa? I tracked Big Joe's fat footsteps to the sulfur pit mine. Guns and Stories has you stand stationary in one spot per stage. You'll be using your two move controllers to control Bill's weapons as wave after wave of enemies pour out of doorways, rooftops, cracks and caves in an attempt to kill you. Ammo is never an issue and you'll find yourself rapidly and frantically blasting away at the varied selection of enemies from long range shooters up close melee attackers, drones, and even Mexicans. No jokes about Mexicans, Robbie. They cross all borders. You'll always start a stage with Bill's two trusty revolvers, but partway through a stage, you'll usually be given a new weapon to help you deal with the overwhelming number of enemies. <laughs> These weapons are a highlight of the game. Some are more fun to use than others, but they are all nicely detailed and, with some very clever design choices, they work very well with two move controllers. And that's a good thing too, because the game is not easy. Not on normal mode, and even easy mode can test you. You will sometimes find yourself being overloaded by the amount of enemies on screen at any one time. And while their shots can be dodged or even beat away, like in Super Hot, enemies can sometimes feel like bullet sponges and they sometimes overstay their welcome. In every stage, you'll see a percentage sign to show you how far you've progressed in any given stage. The problem is that percentage sign moves up incredibly slowly and there was nothing happening on screen to really justify the length of the stages. Yes, you get to test test out a new weapon when you reach around 20% complete, but you might be bored of it by the time you reach 75% complete, and when you die, you have to start all the way over from the very beginning, which can lead to frustration, so I'd recommend you do your first playthrough on one of the easier difficulties like I did. I completed the main story in about 2-3 to three hours this way, but there's still an arcade mode and bonus stages to complete once you're done with Bill's Tale. Completing those will earn you some extra weapons to play with. Perfectionists and score chasers should enjoy these extra modes, though personally I felt like one playthrough was enough for me. Good old Sin Town looked way different, Robbie. It was tiny and uninhabited. Guns and Stories charm does carry over to its art style. It's cartoonish, but it fits the tone of the game as well as the limitations of VR. I played the game on a PS4 Pro and I found the visuals to be quite well. The text had some shimmer to it, but the environments looked nice and sharp and I never had any trouble finding my targets, even the ones who were far away. There is a great level of detail in the weapons you use and I always found myself admiring a new toy whenever it was awarded to me. While the cutscenes are low budget, still 2D images, they are displayed as if they are in a cinema. You even have a bucket of popcorn that you can eat from while you're watching the cutscenes. 
it's a nice touch. However, some of the text, descriptions and informations you'll read in the game and loading screens can seem a little bit off, as if Google Translate was used. You can even see this in some of the trophy descriptions, it's not a big deal, it's just a heads up. The audio in Guns and Stories is decent. I wish the gunshots had a bit more impact to them, but other than that, the only other issue I noticed with the audio was the voice acting. Not the performances of the actors themselves, they were fine, but the quality of some of their lines seemed a bit subpar. Grandpa Bill sounded fine, but the grandson almost sounded like he was speaking his lines into a low quality microphone or something. And at one point his dialogue seemed to get cut off mid-sentence. A bit more polish would have been nice in this area. Grandpa, where did you get those dummies? Uh, at the men's clothing shop, of course. Guns and Stories is $19.99 at full price. Currently, it's discounted by 40% for PS Plus users, and I feel like I can recommend it at either price, as long as you know what you're getting yourself into. This is not a AAA experience, and at its heart, it is another wave shooter although one of the better ones in my opinion. If that's something you like the sound of, then by all means, go for it. But if you're looking for Red Dead Redemption in VR, then this is not the game for you. Instead, Guns and Stories is a charming indie title that might even get you to laugh a few times. At the very least, it'll give your trigger finger some exercise. I award Guns and Stories Bulletproof VR a 7 out of 10.